Hello everyone, uh, I'm Savera and um, I'm so glad you joined me today here on my channel. So this is a journal that I've completed. Uh, I made a tutorial for the seed packets uh, which are in this journal. It's a seed packet journal. Um, it was a part of a co collaboration with Bridge and Miller Crafts um, and Angela Kerr um, at the Jinx, uh, Jigsaw, uh, Journal Jigsaw and uh, I linked um, the t tutorial um, video in my description or you can find it on my feed. Um, so this is the completed project. I didn't want to take very long in making it because sometimes when you take too long, uh, some projects just stay unfinished. So this one I wanted to finish. It's just beautiful, lovely uh, images and uh, beautiful kits. Um, with so much ephemera, so much ephemera. This one is a gator mouth. Uh, it has a lot of ephemera. I've backed each and everything with a um, nice solid card and um, only with some um, sewing details because um, I use a lot of uh, ribbons and laces and trims uh, in my ephemera. I like to, but uh, it makes the journal very bulky with the ephemera in the journal. So I just um, backed everything up with card and uh, just stood around it like this and uh, if you take it out then the journal become becomes less bulky this one is not meant for writing really but just uh, you know visual i think it's very visual and you can put your seeds in it as well and uh, if you wish to do that you can take out the ephemera use it somewhere else make another journal um, Pain one or maybe for writing and then you can use the ephemera in there and uh, that should be fun sounds fun mm. so <coughs> you can see that I've you I've got out all this there was a lot of fussy cutting here and uh, this is the detail that I've given uh, with the sewing and the thread so this one is um, um, it's an envelope flip flip up flip out flip flip open uh, you know so this is uh, you know tuck spots I didn't put anything in there and it's a very it's very simple I love the colors look at how beautiful the colors are um, these are some papers um, that I dyed with uh, food coloring I loved how they turned out so you can see these um, yeah these uh, tags and uh, so these are yeah backed up with card very nice and sturdy so this one yes it gets tied here and i have not um you know um very i have not the seed packets all of them are not highly decorated i've kept them a little simple because as you know uh, then the journal will become so bulky. So I'm so glad so many of you watched my video um, in which was in the collaboration, the tutorial video of the seed packet. And I'm so glad so many of you have uh, subscribed to my channel. And I'm so glad that you joined me in my journey, um, my junk journaling <laughs> or junk journal making journey. So I'm going to try now that uh, I should give you more videos um, of the process that I, uh, you know, in the comments, I all of you wanted to see more of the. A lot of you have told me that you wanted to see how I make this, and you enjoyed the video a lot. So I'm so glad. I'm so happy, and uh, so here's a little boo boo that I've made. Uh, see, I've, I've glued it in uh, the the opening the flap. So I'll have to tear it out now, and I'll fix it. I'll show you how I fix it. Since this is. Um, you know a shabby junk journal it doesn't matter if you have a little um, you know untidiness here or there as long as you can cover it up you can be a little innovative or improvise you know just um, this is the beauty of this kind of journaling that you are not afraid of making mistakes if you have made some mistake then you're able to cover it up easily so that's the fun this, this is what I really enjoy about this kind of these kinds of journals and um, yes, this one does tuck in now, but uh, you'll see right now that I'm going to glue it down further, which I shouldn't have, because when I finally um, try to close it, it might not. Towards the end, you'll see. 
so i'm going to learn from my mistake and i'm gonna have some patience and let it dry yes i'll just leave it on the side so that it can dry and we'll continue with our flip through um this one is um, a file folder i'll show you uh, this file folder that came in in the, in the one of the kits and it's so cute look at this I'll just open it. see how beautiful I've put in some pages um, tea dyed pages just for writing you know your thoughts or maybe you can put in some pictures of your plants of your garden of your spring garden I love gardening myself so I love putting my hands in the soil and uh, you know being out there so each and every uh, seed packet has a um, beautiful ephemera that came with the kit and all backed with solid card, nice card that I had, uh, that I have in my stash. Um, some of it is a little bright and not so appropriate for, you know, the vintage kind of junk journals that I make. So I just backed all the ephemera up with that, so that when you stick, stick it, so that shiny part will come uh, on the bottom. So, so many cards, so many things um, inside and so many beautiful, you know, beautiful digitals uh, these kids have. I have used some elements of, I just can't help using my lace and my, you know, trims and stuff. So I have used some of it. Uh, keeping in mind that um, and the yellow paper that I've used is quite fragile. Um, see, hard and solid cards here. And um, you'll see that I'm going to, uh, yes, I'll use the tape to uh, reinforce, um, you know, uh, yeah, this one got, got a little, tore, it tore a little bit. So after the video, I'm going to reinforce each and every seed packet in this journal so that when you flip it open, it doesn't tear or when you uh, put your hand in to take the things out, it's, it doesn't, um, you know, tear. Uh, if you plan to put some seeds in, I would recommend if you put it in a, in a um, plastic uh, Ziploc bag and just take out the bag, it's going to be easier and the seeds are not going to, um, you know, go right in the bottom and you'll have to put your hand in and I don't know how you're going to take it out. So it's better to put it in an envelope or something inside the uh, packets so you can easily take them out whenever you need to. So this was a flip out double pocket. Uh, I use uh, th these pockets. I made them in bulk and I use them almost in each and every um, uh, journal that I make and I have made uh, some I do make some uh, things in bulk that I use um, in my journals um, So um, let me know if you have ever purchased my journal I would love to connect with you since my Etsy shop is closed and um, I, I can't get in touch with my uh, customers my um, anymore because um, it's, it's you know they, they suspended it and um, now I'm gonna start um, selling hopefully on my website I'm just working on it and uh, figuring out how to do it um, but till then I would love to know if you've uh, purchased my uh, journals and if you have which one it was and uh, how it's going along and what you're doing uh, with it if you can comment below and let me know and also let me know where you're from i would love to know uh, which parts of the world you're watching uh, me from and uh, i would love to connect with all of you so please do take a while to comment and let me know and also let me know what you think of this journal and um I'm so glad that you could join me today and uh, any comments or anything that you want to tell me please do feel, feel free to connect with me on um, Instagram I'm also on Facebook um, so you can connect with me wherever you are so this is the end uh, of the journal and uh, this cute little baby is just beautiful I love this image so much and um, now we'll just uh, put the um, envelope back in and you'll see now that uh, again the flap will not close so I should not have glued it it was just looking a little untidy so I just glued it but 
uh, you know this thing needs more space so I'll just open up open it up a little bit like this and I'm gonna use a clip to just hold it down and you know fix it a little bit improvise and then it's ready good to go and here it is again if you want it less bulky you can take it out take out all the ephemera and you'll have more space so hope to see you soon in my next video bye